Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So we have this complex integration and we have to find its value, but with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. Okay. So what will I do? I will call the given integral as I first. We have I is equal to integration over C z plus 4 square upon z raised to 4 plus 5z cube sig z square dz. Okay. So the most important thing is that curve C. I will draw the curve C first, then we will solve the remaining part of a problem. So where C is so they have mentioned C is mod Z is equal to one. This is equation of circle. Circle mod Z is equal to one. So to draw the circle, we need to have the center and radius of this circle. So what will I do? I will compare the given equation with a standard equation of circle and we will find center and radius. See mod z minus z naught is equal to r. So this is standard equation of circle. z naught is center and r is radius of a circle. But see here we have mod z only. It means mod z minus 0 is equal to 1. Mod z means mod z minus 0. So if you compare with the standard form, we get a z naught is 0. That means origin 0, 0. So the center of circle is 0, 0 radius. If you compare the right hand side, we get R is equal to 1. That means radius is 1. So the given circle is a circle with center 0, 0 and radius is 1. So let us draw. This is imaginary axis. This one is real axis. Let us draw the circle with center 0, 0 and radius 1. So let us take some scaling 1, 2, 3, minus 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 2, minus 3. Okay, so we have a circle with center 0, 0, radius 1. So this type of circle we have, okay. So let us use this space to solve the remaining part of this problem. Second important thing is a function. So what is the function we have? So let me write here. We have f of z is z plus 4 square upon z raised to 4 plus 5z cube plus 6z, 6z square. Okay. So actually uh, what we do generally when we have a function, we write a denominator as a product of factors okay that brackets but see here we have a polynomial of degree 4 so what will i do i will express as a product of factors so it will be easy to solve then okay so tell me what can we take common from the denominator so obviously z square z square z square is everywhere i am taking z square common if you take z square common from z is to 4, z square will be there. z cube we have taken out, z square we have taken outside, so 5z only. If you take z square common, we will have 6. So we have taken z square common and in the second bracket, we have got a polynomial of degree 2. So we should find its factors again. So z plus 4 square upon z square, okay. See, you can easily see the last coefficient is number is 6. Okay. So we have to find two numbers whose product is 6 and the sum is 5. So 2 into 3, 6 and the sum is 5. So that's why the factors will be z plus 2, z plus 3. In this way, we found out the factors get it, of that polynomial in denominator. So uh, yes, we have expressed in this way. So let us recall what we have to do. We have to solve this integration with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. So let us recall the statement of Cauchy's residue theorem. So we can easily understand what we have to do after this. Okay. So Cauchy's residue theorem says integration over C f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i sum of residues. So by Cauchy's residue theorem, 
we find the singular points of this function. Singular points that means point where the function is not analytic or it simply you can say where the denominator is zero. After getting singular points, we check whether those points are lying inside or lying outside given curve C. If they are outside the given curve C, no need to find residue. But if any point lies inside, we have to find residue for that. We take the sum of all such residues and then we take the product with 2 pi i and we get the answer of that value of integration. Getting this is a required answer. So this is Koch's residue theorem. So we have to follow this one to find the uh, value of this integration. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I will do the same. So obviously our next task is to find the residue. Okay, to find the residue of this function. The residue that means generally we say point where denominator will be zero. You can easily see if I put z is equal to zero, we'll get a zero in denominator. If I put z is equal to minus two, minus two plus two, zero. Again, we get zero in denominator. Or z is equal to minus three, if I put minus three plus three, zero again in denominator. That means for z is equal to zero, z is equal to minus two. And for z is equal to minus three, we get denominator zero. That it means these are singular points. So I should mention here, if it's not analytic for z is equal to 0, z is equal to minus 2 and z is equal to minus 3. So we got the singular points. Okay. So now our next task is to check whether those points are lying inside C or outside C. Obviously z is equal to 0, it is here. So it lies inside C. z is equal to minus 2, it is here and z is equal to minus 3, it is here. So that means out of these three points, only one point lies inside and remaining two points lies uh, lie outside getting. So we have to find residue only at z is equal to zero since it lies inside and no need to find residue for these two points. Okay. Uh, so let me mention clearly here z is equal to zero lies inside C and z is equal to minus two and z is equal to minus three lie outside C. Okay, so that means we have to find residue only at z is equal to 0. There is no more space to write, make a screenshot of it first, then I will go further. So let us start to find residue at z is equal to 0. Residue of f of z at z is equal to 0. Now the question is how to find residue. Actually, the definition of residue involves Lorentz series expansion. So uh, it is very difficult or it is it will take more time to find the Lorentz series expansion and then find the residue. But see, we have very simple formulae to find residue if given singular point is a pole. And you can easily see z is equal to zero is a pole of order two since it has power two. So it's a pole. So that's why we can apply those simple formulae to calculate residue. So I should mention here z is equal to 0 is a pole of order 2. So that's why we can use that formula. So I will write the formula first then by putting values we will solve. Formula says 1 upon n minus 1 factorial limit z tends to 0. Uh, after that n minus 1 derivative of z minus 0 raised to n f of z. Okay. See here uh, singular point is a 0. So that's why I've written 0 everywhere. And n is the order of that pole. So order of pole is 2. That means at a place of n, I should put 2 everywhere. So n is equal to 2, 2 minus 1, 1. So 1 upon 1 factorial limit z tends to 0. n is equal to 2. 2 minus 1, 1. That means a single derivative z minus 0 g, z n is 2 z square. So let me put f of z. This is our f of z. z plus 4 square upon z square z plus 2 z plus 3. So will you guess the next step? Obviously, I will cancel out this z square z square. Okay. So 1 upon 1 factorial, 1 factorial is 1. So 1 upon 1, 1 we will get. No need to write anything. So let us write limit z tends to 0. 
The next task is to find derivative, but see it is looking complicated. So what will I do? I will expand this bracket properly and then I will take derivative. So derivative of square, uh, you know, a plus b bracket square formula, a square plus 2ab plus b square. Same formula I'm using z square 2 into, I will write the formula if, if you don't know. So a plus b bracket square, a square plus 2ab plus b square. So this is a formula I'm using here. z square 2 into z into 4, that means 8z and at the end b square, 4 square is 16. In denominator, we should take the product of these two brackets, z into z, z square, z into 3, 3z, 2 into z, 2z and 2 into 3, 6. Okay. So let us write uh, in more proper way limit z tends to 0 derivative of okay z square plus 8z plus 16 z square 2z plus 3z 5z plus 6 okay so now we have to find the derivative of this bracket just make a screenshot of it then i will go further see now the question is how to find the derivative okay so here we have u upon v form so let me tell you the formula first so derivative of u upon v is denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator upon denominator square. So this is a formula we have to find derivative when you have u upon v form. This is our u and this is our v. Let us apply the same formula. Limit z tends to 0. Denominator as it is. So z square plus 5z plus 6 derivative of numerator which is z square plus 8z plus 16 right minus minus sign is there numerator as it is z square plus 8z plus 16 into derivative of denominator z square plus 5z plus 6 whole divided by v square that means square of denominator z square plus 5z plus 6 whole square right bracket square that's it now again we have to find derivatives okay derivatives of this and this bracket let us do limit z tends to 0 z square first bracket as it is okay we have to find derivative of this bracket addition is there that means we can take separate separate derivatives derivative of z square 2z it is constant as it is derivative of z 1 1 into 8 8 derivative of 16 0 since it is constant minus z square plus 8z plus 16 derivative of this bracket now addition is there separate separate derivatives derivative of z square 2z derivative of 5z 5 derivative of 6 0 since it is constant denominator z square plus 5z plus 6 whole square right that's it now it's time to apply the limit. Apply the limit that means at a place of z, I should put 0 everywhere. Wherever you will get z, you have to replace it by 0. That's it. 0, 0, 6 only. Okay. So if I put 0, z is equal to 0. This one will be 0. This one will be 0, 6. In second bracket, z 0, that means this 0, only 8 is remaining. z is equal to 0, we are putting 0, 0, only 16 is there z is equal to 0 that, that means this is 0 and we have 5 z is equal to 0 this is 0 this is 0 only 6 is there so it is uh, 48 minus 16 5 za 80 upon 6 square 36 so it is 48 minus 80 it will be minus 32 upon 36 See, both are divisible by 4 minus 8 by 9. So, this is required residue. Okay. So, we had this function and we found out there are three singular points 0, minus 2, and minus 3. Minus 2 and minus 3 were lying outside, only 0 was lying inside the circle, getting inside that circle. So, we need to find residue only at 0, and we got it. We got the value of that residue which is minus 8 by 9. So now it's time to use Cauchy's residue 
theorem. Okay, just make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So by Cauchy's residue theorem, let me write by Cauchy's residue theorem integration over C, what we have z plus 4 square upon z is to 4 plus 5z cube plus 6z square dz is equal to 2 pi i sum of residues. Okay. So, this is equal to 2 pi i. So, this time we have a single residue which is minus 8 by 9. Let us put it here. So, if you take the product, you will get minus 16 pi i by 9. So, this is a required answer. Uh, note down this solution, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you in next video.